Hello, hello, hello. To any and all who are watching, I'm just pulling up the chat. There we go. Oops. I can see the big chat, but um, I want activity feed to be available. The mic is like right here, by the way. That that's that's exciting. Okay. There. Boy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just put that in the spot where I can see it. That'd be great. Down here? Nope. This is not visible. Okay. Hi. All right. How many people we got? We got one person. Hello! Uh, I'm gonna call you Happy. <laughs> Is that okay if I call you Happy? <laughs> cool. Well, it's nice to meet you, Happy. Um, I'm Alex, but um, Unbridled Artist works too. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place. Today, we unbox a Scrawler box. I'm, I'm gonna... Hi, Fox! How are ya? I'm gonna pester uh, Temporal Blue Jay and be like, hey, hey. Because this is this is their Christmas present to me, so this is them getting to see me open their Christmas present. I'm good. I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm not as chill as I'd like to be. <laughs> it is a Christmas present. Okay, that's me pestering Temporal Blue Jay. Alrighty. Christmas gift. Also, this is Boo. This is Boo Boo. She, she is a pretty princess. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I'm doing well, but to answer your question. She she is my poor princess. Uh, Night Fury is somewhere too. How is everyone doing today? Uh, let's get that. Oh no. Uh Hi Ursa, you made it. Yes. Um one, um I'm sorry you're sick, Happy. Uh that that's terrible. I like to drink a lot of tea when I'm sick and eat soup. Um uh, I, I hope you can see what I'm doing today. So um uh, I, it sucks when glasses break. I need them too. Just come down here. I, I, I need them too. Alrighty. I think it's time we open this. Okay. I, I have wisely taped the back. Um... because I don't want you to know where I live. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got I got to go get my eyes tested too. <laughs> Headaches because my glasses aren't appropriate. Okay. Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Okay. 
What's this? Ooh. Ooh. Sprawler pad. 20 sheets of 140 GSM cartridge paper. That's really thick. It's not thick. Usually, mm, usually the thicker your paper, the like the heavier the GSM, the thicker your paper. But it's it, it's all wibbly. It's all wibbly. I my watercolor paper is thicker. Let's see. Um. So three hundred GSM. This is this is. One of my watercolor sketchbooks, for example. Because I didn't know if I was going to need paper, so I brought paper. <laughs> um, it's like... It's like, it's thick. It's thick. But this is like... Wibbly. There's quite a few pages here, though. One. Okay. Ooh, pretty hard. Okay. Okay. It's, this is the art. It's very pretty. I like it. It's an owl. Neat. Who, who are you? Um, Eamon Hazori. He's a calligraphant, is what it says. Like... Graphant, whatever. Um, his social media. Just get you to focus. Just like. Oh, I, nope. I'm not gonna be able to get it to focus on that, guys. I don't have autofocus on. Um, I'll. You know what? I can type it into the chat. Ha. Huh. <laughs> can you tell? I do not stream very often. Calligra paint. Sorry. That's that. On. I could just punch that in. Okay. So that 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 is him on Instagram and Facebook. So. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Okay. Enough about art. Okay, we're going to be doing art later, but enough about someone else's art. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is, um, so it's like a zine that they give out of all the stuff and supplies and who the artist is and stuff. So this is the stuff that comes in it. They gave me a pencil. Oh, man. Um, so this is, is supposed to be for October, but because... Scrawler boxes in like Europe. It didn't come until like November, so <laughs> um there's some techniques to try for calligraphy because they give some calligraphy brushes and stuff. Ooh, paper. Pencils. Markers. What what have you? Okay. I'm gonna open this now. I'm in. Why am I trying not to rip it? Oh no! Why are you doing this to me? I'm gonna need to constantly keep doing that. Um, it likes to disconnect for whatever reason. You see the sticker? You always get a sticker with a scrawler box, so it's very swoopy. Very swoopy. I have to stick it on something. Can I be heard? I hope I can be heard. Um, the phones. Okay, there we go. Now I'm being heard. 
Music. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, the mic's up high and I can't get it any lower right now. So I will be trying to speak into the microphone. Okay. But yes, um, sticker. Very pretty. I will have to stick it on something. Alright, so this is this is a little menu about the art supplies. Oh, what's this? Uncle Joe's mid balls. Keep you all aglow. Neat. Oh, gluten free. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to my roommate uh, Melimer because uh, she's celiac, so she can eat this as much as I like mints. Some stiff. Okay. So, Cali Flexi created. Um, ventilated cap. Washable ink. 12 colors. Neat. So, that's, that's that. Cali Flexi created with 12 colors. It's washable ink with ventilated cap. Whatever that means. <laughs> That means nothing to me. Okay. What 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 does this little menu have to say? Manuscript Cali Creative Flexi Markers. Make your mark with these manuscript creative flexi markers. These italic markers are an ideal instrument for modern hand lettering, creative calligraphy, and much more. These pens feature a versatile flexible tip that offers a brush-like stroke as well as an italic chiseled cut nib. Perfect for creating a unique and fluid look to your calligraphy. Graffiti style lettering and artwork. Okay, sorry. I'm dyslexic and I'm reading. Oh boy. They combine traditional calligraphy with accessible and usability of modern marker a perfect combination for your calligraphy and artistic needs. All of these pens contain a non-toxic water-based ink that brings vibrant and opaque color to your artistic creations. So um, these are water-based, so that means um, if I want to do any layering, I won't be able to do that very well. It'll tear up the paper. Um, unlike with alcohol-based markers, which are like Culpix, which I hope people have heard of, um, so, um, alcohol inks also come with their own paper, usually. Next! Okay, just... <laughs> the struggles we make. Okay, so, next. Um, we have this. No. No, we don't. Not this one. This one. This one. Is this one. Whoop. It's got two caps, so it's got two different ends. Kuratake feud twin tip marker. Ooh, it's Kuratake. Uh, Kuratake. You know, try to pronounce Japanese properly. Um, so these guys make some pretty awesome watercolors that I've heard of. They're called Gonzai Tambi. I really want to try them. <laughs> But um, this, this, this marker, let's, let's see what it does. Um, this brand has been manufacturing in Japan since 1902 and offers a huge, hugely diverse range of creative pens and markers. This twin tipped marker features a highly pigmented black and gray ink with flexible brush nibs that make illustrating, sketching, designing, and calligraphy effortless and enjoyable. Ooh, it comes with black and gray, so, oh, okay. All right. Neat. This pen has been designed by Kuratake with the writing of Japanese calligraphy characters or kanji in mind. Man, I have, I have a bonsai tree. It's like up two floors, so I'm not gonna go get it. But I've named him Daiki, and I figured out the kanji for his name, and it means uh, I, I specifically picked the kanji for his name to mean big tree. And he's just a little tree. And I thought I was being ironic. 
The flexible tip allows for incredibly thin writing and drawing when used with de de a delicate touch, or bold, darker lines when used with greater pressure. That's often what happens when you have a brush pen. I have um, a Pentel brush pen in my box here of art supplies because sometimes you need other art supplies. Like, I didn't know if I was getting a pencil, so I have pencils in there. Okay, that makes sense. Next, central pen liner. This. This. This one. Uh, it's a wonderful new addition to your fine liner collection. It features an attractive white barrel and rounded cap design that makes it unique among other liner pens. It is lightweight and easy to use with a delicate soft touch nib, making it ideal for precision and accuracy in your art. I want to check out this nib. Oh, it's actually, it's really, really tiny. <laughs> it's really tiny. <laughs> okay. How, how tiny are you? Press and click. There we go. It does not say. Cool. I should do this with this too. Oh, that's actually... This is a gray end, and... This is the black nib. And then we have a pencil. Okay, I'm losing everything. And then we have a pencil. It is a pencil. A pencil. Man. I'm not going to try pronouncing that. Um, maybe you guys can see it. No, you cannot see it. <laughs> okay, so Koi Nor Hard Tuss 1860 pencil this is a B grade pencil containing more graphite and bolder, darker line. It is strong and durable, light, fast graphite pencil with high opacity. High quality, break resistant lead will lead you will aid you in all of your sketching, drawing, and creative needs. That's good because I I like I like B pencils. B is good. B is a good number. <laughs> um, for those of you who do, do not know, pencils are numbered from 2H, which is your standard school pencil, to, um, sorry, 2, or is it 2B? No, 2B would be too soft. It's 2H. 2H is your standard school pencil, and um, they're graded between letters and numbers from how hard they are to how soft they are. So uh, B is soft, and... Um, H is hard, so you could get 8B pencil or a 8H pencil, which would be so ridiculously hard, why would you use it? <laughs> that would tear up your paper. Um, and then, of course, there's the cartridge paper. This is exclusive scrawler pad contains 20 long, thin sheets of high-quality cartridge paper. This cartridge paper is perfect for almost every medium and provides a lovely, thick, and heavy b backing to your artistic masterpieces. Its, its usual shape will also provide a different... Sorry, it is unusual, not usual. Ugh. Um, provide a different perspective to your creations and hopefully help inspire you to create something a little different. Today is Asmetic Aesthetic is the challenge, because they give you a challenge every month. And that's really whited out. You cannot see it. Because focus. I'm by a window, and it's surprisingly light in this basement. Okay, um, so Asmetic Aesthetic is using lines and symbols that look like writing, but do not have any meaning, relatively relating to the enjoyment of study or study of beauty. Okay, so funky lines make shape. We can we can do funky lines make shape today, right? Right. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna take a drink of my hot chocolate that has coffee in it too. I don't usually drink coffee, but powdered whatever it is to go into my hot chocolate. Okay, sure. delicious. Okay. You know what? I'm going to turn off this light. Light off. Let's turn off 
like this one too. Oh, that's a little bit better. That's better. Is that better? I think that's better. The sunlight is very bright. Okay, I'm gonna. Yes, that is a B pencil. That is a B pencil. Boy, am I glad I brought a pencil sharpener with me. Does not do. Don't lose your pen cap. have some exposure issues because that sunlight is bright. I'm going to take this off. I'm getting sweaty. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, um, for the people here watching me, is there any particular type of hot drink that you enjoy most? Ooh, that's actually stiffer than I thought it was. I thought that to be more loose. But because um, I'm going to actually put my Pentel brush. My Pentel brush pen. Oh, chai tea. Um, I like all kinds of black tea. So I, I'm particularly fond of chai tea. But um, so... Well, that's looser. Okay. Okay, so the, um, the gray end is really loose, but the black end is super stiff. Um, so if you just... Dive. Um, I, my current top favorite is this um, tea called um, Chocolate Mint Tea. It's from a local tea shop in my city called the Tea Halls. Um, and it's, it's so good. It's my ult ultimate favorite tea. I'm not drinking tea today. I'm drinking hot chocolate. Um, um, I did have tea earlier today, which is an Earl Grey cream. Um, but the, I currently have a Tibetan chai in my cupboard that I'm like, mmm, chai tea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink that. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> so this, for example, is a Pentel brush pen. So the thick line, th this this here is the Pentel brush pen, but this up here is the Kurotake. is It's a lot stiffer, um, but the gray end is loose, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna just. Maybe you just need some work. So, no. Oh, hello! I opened everything! <laughs> uh, Temporal Blue Jay is my sibling! Um, this, this, this? Um, hang on, let me check. This Kuratake marker? No. Oh, you were eating food. Okay. So I'm going to run through everything again so that Theo knows what they got me for Christmas. Uh, there's a Kuratake brush pen. Uh, it's a twin tip marker. One's gray. One end is gray and the other end is black, which is pretty cool. Um, wait a minute. Is this? Oh, it does. Okay. So it's not the one end doesn't clip in, but the other end that's like this like this cool right so this this does not say um, what it is um, 
It does not say if it is, so I'm going to assume no. Um. Also does not say, so I'm going to say no, but this is um, a central pen liner, which is fun. It's, it's got a very, very tiny end. I'm going to test it now. Oh man. Oh, that is very, that is very tiny. It's very, very tiny. Very, very, very thin lines from that one. Um, of course, I already tested the pencil, which is a B pencil with a funky name. And the big marker set here, which is for calligraphy, which is fun, um, is 12 colors and it is washable ink and it is water-based ink. So no uh, I, I do believe it'd be water soluble but um, I, I'll have to test that at a later time I don't have any water down here with me <laughs> um, so nothing is really water resistant or water soluble um, or if it is sorry it'll water resistant um probably not It'll, they'll all probably bleed i'm gonna test these markers right now oh man <laughs> do i have a pokey thing Oh, oops, <laughs> I broke it. Okay. Oops. Um, I don't carry a water brush with me. Um, usually when I do watercolor or something, it, I have a brush brush and a container of water and I do it at my drafting table, which is not down here in the basement. <laughs> okay. Start from one end and go to the other. Got a funky tip. Okay, you know what? The scrawler box <laughs> came with a sign with techniques to do for the pins. Look at that. Let, let, we could use those. Let's, let's, I'm going to do that. We have upstroke. Upstroke. Ooh. What? What? We do up here? We do up? What? <laughs> Usually when you do calligraphy, because I've, I've used calligraphy pens before. Yes, I do like my gift. Thank you. Oh, there's also a sticker here. An art. art and sticker. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Upstroke. Weird. Downstroke. Yes, I can do that. Look at that. Um. Oh, okay.
some funky lines.